Wow, because he's basically got a loaded gun in his hand. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Attack on Titan episode 64 called Declaration of War. If you like the video, hit the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see something here. This program contains graphic content, adult themes, and violence that may not be suitable for some viewers and is inappropriate for children. This content is entirely fictional. The content is intended for mature audiences only. <laughs> so when that is how they're starting this episode, oh, Bertold's dream. Let me just put this a bit softer. But of considering everything that we've seen in the show so far you're only giving that disclaimer now <laughs> was to be judged by someone damn it's been four years reiner but what does he expect reiner to do like, does he think that Ryan is not going to go tell the other people? So this is going to be the big announcement. But it's interesting that he would think that it would just be okay to go to Ryan or bring Ryan to him. Like, what could he possibly be thinking? Or does, like, I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh, and that's the other thing. You know, they made it seem like, obviously, inside of the walls that, like, you know, there were Asian people once upon a time. But yet, in the real world, all the races are still around. You can hear everything on stage. What? Oh, does that mean he can transform? Oh, wow. I see. So, if Eren transforms right there, all the people above him will be killed. Wow, because he's basically got a loaded gun in his hand. And there's the lady who got spilled on. Mr. Leonhardt. Oh, and his father. She's not dead. Wow. She promised she would come back. The Tiberians are powerful. Yet the Eldian, same as us. Dude, this is something rough is gonna take place here. But he is putting on like a theater show, which is interesting. Because that's actually how they used to do it in like World War II. To like indoctrinate people. Why did you come here? Because I had no other choice. Why does it seem like everybody he talks to just starts losing their mind? Let's look back. Oh yeah, he's gonna reveal the truth. Wow. From the rise of founder Yumi until today. Uh, oh, that's how they're doing it through the curtain. Wow. They soon began slaughtering one another. The Great Titan War. Helios. Helios. 
ることは不可能とされたフリッツ王さえも島に退かせることに成功したのですしかしパラディ島に退いた王は未だに力を持ったまま His power still remain 踏みつぶせるだけの幾千万もの巨人があの島に控えています聞いたかダイナ Isn't that why he destroyed the wall? Mr. Yeager. Mr. Yeager. I didn't come here to chit chat with Aldeans. Nothing as strange of yet. Bro, I don't know what's gonna happen now, but my hands are sweating. Oh, wow. So there they've eliminated two titans already the jaw titan and the car titan. Like how many years ago? Wow. The story I've told told us for is common knowledge. Oh, okay, so now he's gonna say something like the truth. Oh, yes, of course, the memories. It was neither Helos nor the Tiberius who ended the Great Titan War. Oh man, it was King Fritz. Oh, that's why he took everyone to the island. Wow, fabricated the Malian hero. Oh, wow. This was never his intention. Carl Fritz. Wow, is the one keeping the world safe is the vile king of the, the walls, Carl Fritz. He would accept it. See, now everybody's starting to question, question, question. And sold out the Eldians to Mali. Oh wow, we're no more than traitors. It's because I know our world is in great peril. Does that mean that everybody is there? Like Armin and Mikasa and everyone. She obviously saw him back all those years ago. Like whoever that is, if it's Armin or I don't know. He kinda looks too tall to be Armin. Wow, tens of millions of colossal titans. So that's gonna be the reason 
Aaron Yeager. Damn, his leg comes back. So that's going to be the reason to attack them. Because it's like, hey, you know, Farko. helped us. King Fritz has now been taken over. Well, his ideology has been taken over. They did reach my comrades. <laughs> Bro, is there already? So does that mean that he's basically saying that the founding titan's power can awaken all those titans in the war but to me you guys were the bad guys too We broke the wall. But why did Dina walk past Bertolt? Oh, and see how the king would react. I'm the same as you. The indoctrination, as I was talking about. Wow, down to his knees. I wanted people's respect. I wish Eldians were wiped out. So that's how he's gonna do it. Wow. Wow. Crazy. If he just got the power of the armor titan. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. There he is. Aaron Yeager. Bro, look at his eyes now. They've gone like glowing. Wow. Insane. Absolutely insane. I mean, they did have that disclaimer in the beginning. So I'm not sure what that was about. They'd, nothing really happened in the episode. But maybe they have to put that in there because of the up and coming episodes, if you know what I mean. But wow just i got it a little bit twisted you know i thought that willie tiber was gonna try do something where he just wipes everybody out but what he did was he gave them the real truth so that he could flip the script and be like oh but now that whole thing that all that piece is, has been wiped away by Aaron Yeager. And now we're actually in danger. So now we need to go and fight them. And yeah, everybody rallies together. You can see that things are going to just pop off. You know, 
like right now already you know Aaron just transformed right underneath him and you saw like there was already blood on his head and stuff so the fact that like I'm sure he like you said my comrades are there so there's obviously people there already I wonder who that like the one that Piek recognized I wonder who that was of everybody maybe Armin but I mean Armin was short Levi short so it wouldn't really be them but man just just crazy in general like the next episode is gonna be bonkers but yeah that's gonna be it for me really good episode if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you want I'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching I'm out peace in a bit